Hello students, welcome to Read Med Prep Academy channel. Today in Organisms and Populations Part 4, we are going to talk about the responses to abiotic factors and adaptations. Every living organism responds to its environment. There are various ways by which organisms respond to abiotic conditions. Some organisms can maintain constant physiological and morphological conditions or undertake steps to overcome the environmental condition which in itself is a response. The type of responses observed are regulate, confirm, migrate and suspend. Regulate. Some organisms are able to maintain homeostasis by physiological means which ensures constant body temperature, ionic or osmotic balance. Birds, mammals and a few lower vertebrate and invertebrate species are capable of such regulation. Conform, most animals cannot maintain a constant internal environment. Their body temperature changes with the ambient temperature. In aquatic animals like fishes, the osmotic concentration of the body fluids changes with that of the ambient water osmotic concentration. Such animals are called conformers. In case of extreme condition, the inhabitants relocate themselves as in migration. Here in this graph, you can see the organism's response to environmental stresses. In the y-axis is the internal level and the x-axis is the external level. The conformers continuously grow and at a certain level, they maintain themselves. In the case of regulators, they keep on growing and it is a straight line in the center. You can see migrate. Organisms tend to move away temporarily from a stressful habitat to a new hospitable area and return when the stressful period is over. Birds migrate from Siberia to Verentangle in Tamil Nadu to escape from the severe winter periods. Below you can see the image of the Vedantangal bird sanctuary. Suspend. In certain conditions, if the organism is unable to migrate, it may avoid the stress by becoming inactive. This is seen commonly in bears going into hibernation during winter. Some snails and fish go into estivation to avoid summer related problems like heat and desiccation. Some lower animals suspend a certain phase of their life cycle which is referred to as diapause. Now let us move on to the adaptations. What are adaptations? In biology, adaptation is a dynamic evolutionary process that fits organisms to their environment and enhancing their evolutionary fitness. Adaptations can be a phenotypic or adaptive trait with a functional role in each individual organism that is maintained and has been evolved by natural selection. The adaptive traits may be structural adaptation, behavioral adaptation and physiological adaptation. Structural adaptations, the external and the internal structures of animals can help them to adapt better to their environment. Some of the most common examples are mammals growing thicker fur to survive the freezing climates. Here are a few examples of some animal adaptations. Claw. A claw is a structural adaptation that some animals like eagles use to hunt prey. But some animals like an armadillo use claws to dig burrows. Shell. A shell is a structural adaptation that some animals are born with on their body. Most animals use this shell as a protection mechanism against predators. Fur. Fur is a structural adaptation that is used by animals to keep warm in extremely cold environments. Spines. Spines are an adaptation some animals use to protect themselves from predators, much like a shell but in a much more. Teeth. Teeth are a structural adaptation some animals use to break down food. Some of the most attractive adaptations in nature for reasons of crypsis. Example camouflage and mimicry. Cryptic animals are those which camouflage perfectly with their environment and are almost impossible to detect. Certain reptiles and insects such as chameleons and stick insects show this type of adaptation. 
which helps in prey capture or to evade from predators. In the image below on the left side you can see the chameleons and on the right side you can see the stick insects on the leaf. Likewise horse legs are suitable for fast running and adapted to grasslands and similar terrestrial environments. The image of fast running horse is given here. Behavioral adaptations. Action and behavior of animals are instinctive or learned. Animals develop certain behavioral traits or adaptations for survival. Fleeing from a predator, hiding during sleep, seeking refuge from climate change or moving to find different food sources are all behavioral adaptations. Behavioral adaptations are the way an animal acts. There are two types of behavioral adaptations. Inherited behaviors and learned behaviors. Inherited behaviors include migration, hibernation, being nocturnal, defensive behaviors, mating and courtship. Learned behaviors like how to find food, making a shelter, how to communicate, how to get along in a group, looking out for predators. The two most characteristic forms of behavioral adaptations are migration and courtship. Migration allows the animals to find better resources to or evade threat. Migration. This is when a behavioral adaptation that involves an animal or a group of animals moving from one region to another and then back again. Animals migrate for different reasons. Better climate, better food, safe place to live, safe place to raise young ones, go back to the place they were born. In this image below you can see a zebra migrating to another area. Courtship is a set of behavioral patterns to find a mate to reproduce. On the right side image you can see the courtship behaviors. Blue footed booby mating dance. Male peacock displaying his feathers for a female. Most nocturnal animals remain underground or inactive during daytime. This is a modification of their feeding and activity pattern or habit or behavior. A nocturnal animal is an animal that is awake or active at night. In this you can see the pictures of nocturnal animals like the bat, the owl, the fox and the frog. A diurnal animal is an animal that is awake or active during the day. Below you can see the pictures of diurnal animals like the duck, dog, horse and goat. Physiological adaptations. These are adaptations of organisms that help them to live and survive in their environment with unique niches. Example, lions have sharp canines to hunt and tear the meat and a digestive system suitable for digesting raw meat. You can see the canines of a lion in the image. The two most well known physiological adaptations are hibernation and estivation. These are two different types of inactivity where the metabolic rate slows down so much that the animal can survive without eating or drinking. The differences between hibernation on the left side and the estivation on the right side we can see here. Hibernation is called winter sleep. Estivation is called summer sleep. Hibernation is a period of inactivity slowing down of metabolic activity of some animals during winter. Estivation is a period of inactivity and slowing down of metabolic activity in some animals during summer. A hibernation lasts for a longer duration, the entire winter, whereas estivation lasts for a shorter duration. Hibernation ensures that the internal body temperature maintained during cold winter. Estivation ensures that the internal body temperature is maintained and there is no harm to the body due to the high temperature. Examples of hibernating animals like bear, chipmunks, bats, etc. Examples of estivating animals, example amphibians, reptiles, etc. Aquatic medium and terrestrial habitats have their own respective environmental conditions. Hence, organisms have to evolve appropriate adaptations to select suitable habitats and niches. Adaptations of aquatic animals, the pectoral fins and the dorsal fins act as stabilizers or balances and the caudal fin helps in changing the direction as a rudder. Arrangement of body muscles in the form of bundles called myotomes help in the locomotion. Streamlined structure helps in the swift movement of the animals in water. Respiration by gills 
making use of gases dissolved in water. Presence of air bladders filled with air for buoyancy. Presence of lateral line system. They function as rio receptors, which is helpful in echolocating objects in water. Integuments rich in mucous glands are protected by scales. Maintain water and ionic balance in its body with excretory structures. Here you can see the adaptations of a fish. Streamlined body for swimming. Scales to prevent the loss of moisture. Gills for respiration. Fins for locomotion. Tail for changing the direction during locomotion. Adaptations of terrestrial animals. Earthworms land planarians secrete a mucus coating to maintain a moist situation for burrowing, coiling, respiration, etc. Orthropods have an external covering over the respiratory surfaces and well-developed tracheal systems. In vertebrate skin, there are many cellular layers besides the well-protected respiratory surfaces that help in preventing loss of water. Some animals obtain their water requirement from food as partial replacement of water lost through excretion. Birds make nests and breed before the rainy season as there is availability of abundant food. But during drought, birds rarely reproduce. You can see in the image a bird making a nest on the branch of a tree. Desert animals. Camels are able to regulate water effectively for evaporative cooling through skin and respiratory system and excrete highly concentrated urine and can also withstand dehydration up to 25% of their body weight. Here you can see the adaptations of the camelids, the camels, the lamas, alpacas and vicunas. Long eyelashes and thin slit nostrils that can close to protect them from blowing sand. Fat filled humps will break down to supply them with the energy and moisture they need to survive long tracks in the desert. At an extremely long large intestine, particularly the colon, for reabsorbing the water. Long muscular legs for walking. Wide padded feet allow walking on the rocks and hot sand. So today in organisms and populations part 4 we discuss about the responses to abiotic factors and adaptations. So thank you. Kindly subscribe, like, share and comment to channel Read Med Prep Academy. Kindly register for UG and PG NEET type MCQs in our website www.readmedprepacademy.com Our Facebook ID is Read Med Prep Academy. Our email is readmedprepacademy at gmail.com Our Instagram is Read Med Prep Academy. To join Read Med Prep Academy, kindly WhatsApp the number given below. Post your questions in the comment box. We will reply with appropriate answers. Thank you very much.